number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, over the last year, you guys have all decided to follow me for some reason that's probably crazier than me. And I'm a drink with crazy, I should know. And over the last year, the memes doth flow, as it were. And my community, oh boy. Boy, howdy do they make the memes doth flow. And so tonight, we're gonna go over some of my more favorite ones that I've seen over the last year. But nevertheless, if you guys have a meme, if you guys are into having some fun with the creators, <laughs> especially uh, of this channel, I would absolutely welcome all of your memes. And maybe I should start a hashtag on Twitter for this. That might be a lot easier. But ladies and gentlemen, I got my beer. I've got your memes. And I'm going to have to swallow my pride on this one. So... Let's get into it. All right, this first meme came from a live stream that we did uh, with Griffin's library. Uh, this one's absolutely hilarious. I was having some internet problems that night, and whenever a screen freezes up, it never seems to freeze in a way that's attractive for the person. <laughs> but yeah, apparently I'm making the, uh, the dork face. Richard's tired of me. He's wondering why my brain broke again. Daniel has not had enough scotch. And uh, and our guest for that evening is wondering what the hell is going on and why is he here? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, just the first of many. Just the first of many. Good Lord. This These next couple of memes are from when I was, I was building this wall. I, I put the studio together. I was very happy. I was very excited to have a studio uh, and a place that I could properly do this, get a little bit of audio foam set up. I was really, really happy. I ended up doing a stream, and, uh, and this is what happened. Yeah. So, note to self, never ever stream in front of a blue wall again. Uh, I didn't have all of the, all of, all of the nerd stuff on the wall yet, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I get. And again. <laughs> uh, yes, I am in Star Wars, apparently. It's, it's, it's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's... Oh my god, you you guys are you guys are ruthless. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about these. I don't even know what to say. This is my own fault. Like I decided to stream in front of a wall. It was just blue. That like, there was nothing up here. I, I might have like two things up here. This is this is my own fault. Like you can see the audio foam, <laughs> but that's it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh. All right, moving on. Apparently, my community, I don't know. There's, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Apparently, my co-host on Iron Age Nights and I, it was really fun to do memes like this for a while. At least in this meme, I'm in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Richard. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, this was... Oh, man, boy, Richard and I, we saw this one for about a month and a half, two months, and, and our faces would go back and forth. It would just depend. At least in this one, I'm in the back, Richard, if you're seeing this. I'm not sorry I picked this one. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's... You guys are absolutely ruthless. Let's move on to the next one over here. This is a new one, and... As this one being a new one, I really I thought this one was great because I I've shown my colors, ladies and gentlemen. I have absolutely outed myself as a big titty goth girl lover. Uh, I married one, uh, in fact. I so I'm not just like a like it's not like a general like big titty goth girl lover. Uh, I like I have like a singular big titty goth girl in my life, like and that's the one that I love. Uh, but but seeing big titty goth girl representation in comic books and books. Uh, Gets me excited for the book, and uh, and this one is new. Indie authors. So my story is about a mentally unstable big titty goth girl. Crazy drinker. Funded. You're right. 
Like, <laughs> I mean, okay, and? <laughs> like, yes, all Big Titty Goth Girl comics should be funded. That's uh, above all other comics. Big Titty Goth Girl comics should be funded. They should be. I don't understand. Like, there's, there, I, yeah, yeah. All of them. Every one of them. If, even if the book's not about a big titty goth girl, it should still get fun. If it just has one in it, you must fund. You must fund. It's that's how the world works. <laughs> oh, a new one as well. This does not go back. This has some channel lore here, but as you can see, apparently I go after the commies. I went after Irwin, the author. That live stream is is. is notorious on my stream or infamous on my streams and then now i'm going after hate watchers <laughs> kind of kind of uh, <laughs> i i rant a little bit people i rant do you not understand this it's just, it's 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 my it's my charming personality as they say when i get really really loud and i start yelling at people <laughs> all of those things i have yelled at oh good lord Ah, uh, getting into the more new memes. I made the mistake of responding to my wife in a live stream a few weeks back. I had the Ripiverse crew on. That's right, the team that backs Eric's July releasing the Ripiverse. And she mentioned how I wouldn't buy her a goat. And it hasn't stopped since. It says, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Except your goat. Your goat will always thinks you're a legend no matter what you think of yourself. I'm not buying a goat. I'm not, no, I'm not, no. I have too many animals, I'm not buying a goat. No matter how much that goat thinks I'm legendary. Wait, legend, wait for it. Next meme. And the goat memes continue. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know if I like having a creative community anymore. You guys are awesome. You're, you're writing books, you're writing comics, you're, you're making memes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have looked at this one. Shouldn't have looked at this one. La oh God. Oh God. Well, the goat meme doth continue, ladies and gentlemen. Doth, it seems to be the word of this of this little video here. <laughs> the men who should buy goats based on a mind-boggling true story. I'm not buying a goat. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What the hell is wrong with you guys? I'm not doing it. Oh, God. What did I do to myself? Why? Why? It's just like, no, I just want to hang out with people and have some fun. It's... it's no. All right, this next one is one of my favorite ones ever. You know, if you guys have been here and you say sorry too much, especially if you say sorry about things that I, you shouldn't say sorry about. You say sorry to somebody when you're like, oh, hey, bro, I didn't, you know, you know, what, what, what would a God, I don't want to use that meme. Nope, never mind. That'll make a new meme. Not saying that. You say sorry for, hey, man, I'm sorry that, you know, your 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 family passed away. But if you're like, hey, I'm sorry you're le you, I came in late for the live stream. Never apologize for things that you shouldn't be sorry for. Because that makes you Canadian. And remember, no Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is back when the wig was long, too. Ha, ha, ha. No Canadian on my channel. None. And I should know, because I'm mostly Canadian. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't I don't know. I, I don't know where this came from. I I don't I, I have no idea. Apparently I would have looked really, really good. Quite strapping, if I might add. In a in a mento sad. <laughs> I, I just I don't know I oh, oh, who why do you guys think of this <laughs> I'm having a blast with all of these I had to, I had to intentionally glance at all of these so I wouldn't laugh too much so I could actually get them downloaded and all that 
And then last but most certainly not least, one of the older memes on the channel, but one that is still tried and true. Oh boy, this one. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Wig of Destiny. This... This was from a live stream that I did after somebody said because they noticed that when I furrow my brow, my hair doesn't move because it doesn't. And he just said, why don't you just uh, admit that you're wearing a wig? So sure, I admitted it. Tried to pull my hair out on a live stream. It doesn't come out. And the Wig of Destiny was born. Because I have a community full of authors. And that's what they do to me. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I hope that you guys had a blast with this first channel meme review. I've been wanting to do one of these for quite a while. Um, and what my mistake was is asking people, you know, later, hey, guys, send in those memes that you created. A lot of people delete them quickly, so I didn't have them. Well, now I'm just going to have to start saving them. And if you guys like this video, and I guess if it does get views, because, well, it's this is definitely out of the ballpark of what I normally do on the channel. But if you guys can share the hell out of this for me, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell, and bring more people into the community to create more memes, I would absolutely love that. And maybe, maybe, I don't know, hashtag on Twitter... ADWC meme or AD I don't even know I have no idea you guys will figure it out you guys always do but hopefully you guys stick around to one see the fantastic authors comic book creators tabletop RPG creators and just entertainment creators that we bring here on the channel and to create more memes and until next time everybody thank you for being here thank you for the laughs and cheers everybody Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.